We're in southern Spain with Mercedes-Benz driving the AMG CLE 53 Cabriolet. All of that sounds amazing. What's the oh God, Zach. There's no handle. It's a convertible. Oh All right, so we are in uh, the AMG CLE and we are in beautiful Spain, Andrea. What's under the hood of this thing? A three liter turbocharged inline six of the 48 volt mild hybrid system. It's matched to a nine speed automatic transmission and gets 443 horsepower and 413 pound feet of torque. In overboost, which you get for about 10 seconds, it bumps your torque up to 443 pound feet. This is standard all wheel drive and you've got to put premium fuel in this AMG model. Okay, in just a second, we'll explain how a lot of this new technology is working and what the CLE is and how it's different than previous models. But right now, this is an AMG. It must come with some nice stuff. What are the key standard features? This AMG model comes standard with a 12.3 inch digital driver display, an 11.9 inch touchscreen with navigation, third generation MBUX system, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a wireless charger, a 17 speaker Burmester 3D surround sound system, a 360 camera, power and heated front seats with memory, leather wrap and microfiber upholstery, 64 color ambient lighting, foot activated trunk release and keyless go. Andrea's already put it in Sport Plus, but what else can we put it in? Gotta put it in S for subscribe and if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all of our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And we do this, the couple car review twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So make sure to like and subscribe, but also follow along on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea to see what's going on behind the scenes. And for me, it's motormouth underscore auto and the links are below the like button. If you love a convertible, and who doesn't love a convertible <laughs> in the south of Spain, that's a good thing. But there's less and less people buying convertibles. Yeah. And Mercedes had a lot of convertibles in their lineup, so they consolidated. They got rid of the C-Class convertible, mm -hmm. they got rid of the E-Class convertible, and they combined them to make the CLE. And that's what we're driving. And we're in the AMG version, and gone like for the old uh, AMG C-Class convertible was a V8. Now they've gone to the inline six, but they've added technology, mild hybrid technology. Yeah, and it really is a terrific handling vehicle. Whether you put it in comfort, sport, sport plus, which is a more responsive drive mode, it never takes away from the comfort level. It's a great blend of performance, comfort level. This is a great touring car. If you take it on a long road trip, you're gonna find it super comfortable but a lot of fun to drive. So a little bit of a technical background. The 48 volt mild hybrid system has an electric motor sandwiched in the transmission between the engine and the transmission. And then it also has the 48 volt system spooling up a small electric turbine. So there's two turbos. One is electric to help with initial launch. And then the regular turbo, once you get the uh, pressure built up in the system. So between the electric motor, the electric turbocharger, and then the regular turbocharger, this thing has got some jam. <laughs> and when you put your foot into it, especially in Sport Plus, man, it hustles. And away we go. Oh. What it doesn't have, Andrea, yeah. is that throaty sound like the old V8. I do kind of miss yeah, that. Yeah, it's a little bit different. We uh, definitely checked out the exhaust pipes and really revved it up. And it doesn't sound exactly the same. And Mercedes-Benz has moved to this inline six with the 48 volt mild hybrid system because of emissions regulations. And it is more fuel efficient. When we get into the EPA numbers, you'll notice that the highway numbers are actually really good, which like I said, makes for a great road trip vehicle. The nine speed automatic transmission is short shifting and boy, is it ever precise. Like you've got these quick shifts and um, even in comfort mode, we found that there is 
a slight bit of turbo lag, but in Sport and Sport Plus, it takes care of all of that. Yeah, it's the, it, what's amazing about modern technology, you just go back to cars in the 90s, you got passive springs and shocks, yeah. you had one setting for the engine and the transmission, you maybe had a sport button and that was it. Now, you've got all of these adaptive systems, you've got the ability to make the suspension firm or soft, this has active rear steering as standard equipment, it yeah. comes with all wheel drive, and the active rear steering makes this thing a marvel in the twisty mountain roads outside of uh, Malaga and Marbella, where we are today. And it just makes it supremely comfortable when you want it to be, but very assertive when you need it to be. And that's what I like, Andrea. Yeah. I like to be able to cruise when I want to <laughs> and have some fun. And the rear axle steering is steering angles up to 2.5 degrees. And what I love about the twisty roads is that if you are going at a higher speed, this vehicle gives you a lot of confidence. It hugs the corners beautifully. The steering feels a little bit heavy weighted, but it has got great feedback and the brakes are fantastic. Okay, enough about all of that stuff. What you'll notice is Andrea's hair is moving a little bit. Like, let's get to the real story here. <laughs> Andrea likes a convertible, but yeah. she doesn't like her hair flying all over the place. And up on top of the windscreen here, they have the airfoil that goes up, and it goes up when you put the, the uh, screen at the back uh, up as well. Can you see that going up and down? Yeah. So the airfoil goes up, and then that screen goes up, and it creates a nice sort of little pocket of stable air inside the cabin when the windows are up. So cruising, perfect GT cruising car. Yeah, it's not, my hair isn't lashing. So most of the time in a convertible, I've got to wear a hat. So it's, or put my hair in a ponytail. So this was, uh, this is a big deal for me. So I can keep the top down and still be super comfortable. But you know what? With the airfoil up, it's not sucking my toupee off. So it's really good. <laughs> Poor Zach and that toupee, he's got to think about I that I mean, it's, I put extra glue on this morning, so we're good. Mercedes-Benz also has another feature. They call it air scarf, and it's got vents in the back of the headrest, and you've got heat going around your neck. It's so comfortable. So this can be really a vehicle that you can drive all year round on a uh. sunny, cool day with the top down. <laughs> you put the heat on. The heated seats are so hot. I don't think I'd be driving this in Winnipeg in the winter. Just saying. Just hey, saying. Standard all-wheel drive. <laughs> and just like me, Andrea, mm -hmm. this AMG has muscles in all the right places. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's got this muscular stance. The track at the front is 55 millimeters wider than the regular CLE, and the track at the back is 75 millimeters wider. To make space for that wider track, they had to make more muscular fenders, front and rear, and it gives this car some really solid haunches, and then you throw in the classic AMG grille. It looks fantastic from every angle. It really is a beautiful car. It's one of these vehicles that you park, you look back, and you admire. It has sleek lines. It's like when you walk away, Andrea. <laughs> I turn and watch you walk away That's and admire. That's a good thing, Zach. Yeah, That's you know, a good if, thing. If you like the look of something, you like the look. I like the look of this. We pulled up at the hotel at the end of the day, and boy, did this ever get a lot of attention for its good looks. Do you know what happened, People. Andrea? They were all taking pictures. Yeah, people were taking pictures of the vehicle. And you know what? It really is stunning. Everywhere we pull up, we were just getting ready to set up for our in-car segment. We pulled up at this restaurant and once again, people looking and staring. And convertibles often don't look good with the roof up. Yeah. Because this is bigger than the old C-Class to make more room on the inside, we'll talk about that in a second, the fly lie down the back of the roof angle really looks sleek and sexy. So even with the roof up, it looks great. And how about that color combo? Love the color combo. The gray with the red roof really pops. It's a color combo that I would totally go for. Now this comes with a standard black roof, but available red or gray. And you can put down this roof 
down or up in 20 seconds. And up to speeds of 60 kilometers an hour, which is around 30, 35 miles an hour. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. In addition, they have a red one here as well. So the two cars are using for the launch are the gray and the red. This one has the black package on the outside, yeah. gets you the black trim. And then the red one they're showing off is the more elegant looking one with chrome and then the brighter wheels. I think yep. this is the one I would get, the gray, Same. but the red one is elegant as well. Now there's also an AMG Dynamic Plus package which ups the sportiness even further with race start and the race driving program with drift mode. That package also includes the red brake calipers and black AMG lettering. This model comes standard with LED headlamps, available digital light headlamps, LED tail lamps, 19 inch wheels, available 20 inch. Well, we found out something today, Andrea. Uh -huh. My favorite feature on the inside is the stereo system because with the roof down, they had a pre-programmed music in here and it sounds fantastic yeah. in here. And what's the stereo as standard equipment? I know, the Burmester sound system. So this 3D system really is great. I've always been a big fan of Burmester anyway. So I think if you get this model, you're gonna love the sound that it offers. This is a four passenger vehicle and it's really laid out well in the interior. I love the fact that there's rear seats because in the end, it's just nice to be able to throw some bags there uh, instead of putting them in the trunk. You know what? I spoke to the head of uh, product planning for this line of cars, so he was in charge of this, and I said, you know, how much bigger is it than the C-Class and how much smaller is it than the E-Class? Yeah. They, they didn't really want to talk about that because they want this to kind of be its own thing, yeah. and I understand that, but he did say that the goal was to make it comfortable for four people. And here's me getting in the back seat, and I can tell you the seats automatically caddy back and forth mm -hmm. electronically to get in and out. And then the seats started coming back towards me, and I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> and I had the seat set for my own position, and I thought, are my legs going to get attacked? But you know what? It stopped in time, and the seats, they're kind of upright but they're much bigger and more comfortable than say the SL yeah, uh, for Mercedes. And Mercedes-Benz says, you know, since they've eliminated these other convertibles, they've really blended the best of each one into this CLE version. The center console does have some shiny black plastic, which I'm not crazy about, and there's a little bit on the doors. This 11.9 inch touchscreen with the new MBUX system and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is standard and you can move this screen from 15 to 40 degree angles based on whether the light is hitting the screen certain ways and the reflection of it. It really does make a big difference with the roof down and it's still super easy to access even at that 40 degree angle from the driver's side. So this one has a full leather interior. It doesn't come standard with that. No. But if you're going to spend, you might as well spend big and get the full leather interior. It is spectacular. The Alcantara steering wheel, comfortable. I like classic things like the uh, air vents. Uh, there's carbon on the dashboard of yeah. this one. So it's, it's beautifully put together for sure. Like there are some areas where I find in the last uh, sort of uh, eight to 10 years, Mercedes has cheaped out on plastic at the bottom of yeah. the doors and a little too much of the shiny hard plastic but overall it feels it feels beautifully made in here yeah i really like the chrome that's in here you don't always see that often in vehicles anymore and the mix of materials with the napa leather and the alcantara steering wheel and the comfort level of the seats all of it really works so well and believe it or not storage isn't too bad You've got a fairly deep unit for a smaller vehicle and surprisingly the door pockets are pretty good. You can put a water bottle in there and some other uh, items as well. You can get red seat belts and red stitching. I mean you can really up the sportiness and customize it the way that you want it. Available leather and Napa leather upholstery and the leather has really a special feature with coating that reflects the sun's rays, reducing the temperature by up to 23 degrees Fahrenheit in direct sunlight than what you would get with standard leather upholstery. There's also AMG performance seats that are available. Other available features include a head-up display, 
the MBUX augmented reality for navigation, massage seats, ventilated front seats, driver assistance package, and AMG real performance sound. So we talked about the back seat already. Now I'm gonna show you the trunk. Depending on whether the roof is up or down, you get different amount of cargo space. The nice thing is the rear seats do fold down, so you can carry longer items from the trunk into the back seat if you want to. Trunk space is 14 cubic feet, but when you put the soft top in, it reduces it to 9.6 cubic feet. So the length of this CLE model is 191 inches, width with the mirrors is 80.4 inches, and the height is 56.5 inches. The wheelbase comes in at 113.2 inches. So what we're gonna do now is get into all of the vital stats. Price is a big one, and is there an improvement in fuel economy? Well, you decide, let's get into it. Let's start with pricing, this is MSRP. In Canada, it starts at just under $94,000. And in the US, just over $82,500. Here's the fuel economy for this inline six cylinder. 12.4 liters per 100 kilometers in the city, just nine liters on the highway. That's 19 miles per gallon city, an impressive 26 miles per gallon on the highway. The warranty is four years, 80,000 kilometers or 50,000 miles. Lightning round, two things we like, two things we'd like to see improve. I love the blend of performance and comfort level in this AMG model. It's stunning to look at. What I'd like to see for this price tag, ventilated front seats should be included as a standard equipment. I just can't make my mind up about this, Andrea. I think we're gonna have to stay for another week or two <laughs> and drive this car all throughout Spain to find out if I really like it. What, what say you, Mercedes Benz? <laughs> All right, so there it is. It's the all new AMG CLE beautiful looking Cabriolet. What do you think of that? Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.